You better get ready, because the convergence is coming, and it's coming sooner than we think. Co-founder of Gala Games, Jason Brinks, has repeatedly shared his vision of an upcoming convergence between Web3 and Web2 games. As he has stated, the resistance to Web3 gaming is weakening, and large companies are realising they need to get on board, or they will be left behind. And we can see this already today. Sony and PlayStation are already pushing towards getting involved into this new era, but that is not all. There are so many more companies like Adidas, Samsung, Nike, eBay, Shopify, Formula One, Prada, McDonald's, Coca-Cola and Ticketmaster, and there's so many more that do not want to get left behind into this new era. And once this convergence does occur, Gala will be leading the charge, exceeding all expectations and pump to the moon. I strongly believe in that. As I have stated in my previous Gala videos, Jason Brink strongly believes that soon, in fact, within the next 18 months before 2025, there will no longer be Web 2 and Web 3 games, but just games where you will own your stuff and games where you don't. So I guess the ultimate question is, what do you think? Is the convergence coming? Let me know down in the comments below. Now I'm not a financial advisor, but personally, I think that it is, and I'll be explaining why Gala will be leading the charge in this video today company with recent Gala updates. But before I get started, if you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more in the future, then let me know by smashing that like button down below and subscribing to the channel with the post notification bell turned on. Now firstly, in regards to the recent updates of Gala Games, there are two brand new playtests that are currently out. One is for Champions Arena, Gala's turn-based Web3 RPG game. Now this playlist will last for 3 weeks, so it will end on May the 17th, and there have been a bunch of new features added like an all new challenge mode. Also, a premium summoning option that will result in only champion drops, and the ability to manage your own estate, which kind of acts like your home base, or you can join up with your friends on theirs. There are loads more interesting updates for Champions Arena all disclosed in this article here, like gem rewards for one, and also the fixes and improvements that have been made. So, if you want to check out these for yourself, then I'll leave a link down in the description below. The second playtest announced is for Echoes of Empire, Gala's 4x sci-fi strategy game. And the purpose of this playtest is to give a preview and get some testing data for two new additional features. One is the fleet editor and the other is combat. I welcome you to pause the video here and read up on any of these changes a little bit further. And additionally, if you get the chance to partake in any of these playtests, then 100% do so because it's these sort of constant developments and community driven interactions that really allow games to excel. And it's something that isn't seen very much in gaming nowadays, which is why Gala is going to excel and pump like crazy when the conversion happens. So yes, playtests are a big part of why I believe Gala is going to do well in the future, but it's also the games themselves and how well they listen to the community. Just take a listen to this interview about the new game MMORPG coming out for Gala called Mirandus. This game is different than other games. Dying in this game is very, very meaningful. It has huge penalties associated with it. We're going to take a ton, not a ton, but you know, a painful amount of experience points away from you. So the world is very dangerous and by having death be meaningful, it just changes the experience completely. Wow. Yeah. And I mean, so in terms of players who, who may not log in every day, do their assets like depreciate or deplete in sort of robustness over time or what does that look like? I mean, given the stakes that you just uh, conveyed there, if I, you know, step away from like my WoW game for a while, like a lot of stuff can change, right? Or some of my friends play Ark and like their games can change a lot without them being there. So they feel a pressure to always kind of be online as much as possible. Is that the case with Mirandas as well? I'm I'm not sure I, I would say that. I mean, there's always going to be players who are super engaged. They're hyper engaged. They just never leave the monitor and they're there all the time. Um, but I think there's certainly room for players to come in and play more casually and explore and see the world and discover secrets for themselves. Uh, but our players too have, when, when we were envisioning Miranda's, um, they didn't want to just run around and kill stuff too. They really love the idea that we're trying to simulate this medieval 
fantasy world. Uh, they want to gather in the tavern and play games. They want to harvest crops and animals and create food. They want to run an inn where the players sleep. They want to go deep on economic control. We have, uh, we have players who bought up most of our dwarves and they really want to own the mines and strip them of all their iron and kind of control the steel in the game, which is really cool. So we're, you know, we're, we're kind of a sandbox MMO in that regard. You know, there's, there's no, not a lot of rules, I would say, you know, the more rules you put in a game, it actually doesn't make it more fun. It makes it less fun. So we're repealing those rules and essentially setting the stage and the players do with it is, is what they're going to do with it. This is another prime reason as to why I strongly believe that Gala is going to dominate and lead the charge in this industry in the near future. Giving the community such a huge voice and a say and the freedom will help Gala in creating this so-called perfect MMORPG game. This game is going to be second to none and the fact that dying has such a huge penalty as well will draw so many hardcore gamers looking for a challenge. Now, to cover the updates in Gala a little bit further, we have an update here in regard to spider tags. And we can see from Classy here that his favorite time of the year in Gala is May, as May Mayhem is coming. To touch on this a little bit further, we can see that in the next few weeks, there's going to be an absolute mayhem in spider tanks, an absolute massive update in spider tanks. And we can see that with this huge quality of life boost for both pilots and captains, and an entirely new mission system, Gala is sure that Spider Tanks is ready for whatever seasonal festivities may happen around this time of year. They're still not disclosing too much to us, they're going to leave us in suspense a little while longer, but we can see here that there's going to be an absolute mayhem, massive update happening over the next few weeks, so it seems May is going to be a big month for Gala as well. But the developments from Gala don't just come from the gaming side of things, despite it being a massive factor. We can see here, Souls are now live on Vox Odyssey. Let's see how Longbeard and his predator battle axe bind with the way of the warrior in the Vox verse. So this is an update in regards to the Vox verse, also soon to be and known to be the Gala metaverse. So in my personal opinion, Gala's success comes and will come from their constant developments and community interaction. They listen and truly try their best to reach and exceed expectations. But that is not all, they are also so diverse, their ecosystem is more than just the gaming. They have film and music and they have massive, massive partnerships inside those as well like Snoop Dogg and other massive BAFTA award winning celebrities and actors. They also have their own metaphors that they're in the process of building as I mentioned a little bit earlier. But it's not just that, it's also NFTs which is a rapidly growing market and DeFi which is just insane to me. All these ecosystems just show me how well run and how professional and dedicated the Gala team truly is. So when this conversion happens, I'm sure Gala will ride the wave and pump to the moon. But of course, I'm not a financial advisor, so please do trade your own discretion and do your own research. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. But remember, it's just a coin. And I'll see you in the next video.